Hello and welcome back to Nether Survival, where in this episode we're going to be making yet another farm. Yay, another farm. Kind of. Well, it is a farm. It is a farm. Now, in the last episode, first off, we started the foundation for our beacon, which hopefully in the next episode we will be able to continue. But in the last episode, we made a farm that is basically going to give us infinite food. Uh, it's over here somewhere. Now, it is currently a little bit of a dangerous walk going all the way over there, all the way over here. But I'm thinking maybe in the future we will do a project where we make tunnels or safe paths leading to the different areas of interest. So things like that doesn't happen. But here it is, we made this in the last episode. If you did, watch, if you did not watch it, I definitely recommend that you do so. Um, maybe I need to gas proof it. Maybe I do need. But just after, I believe, like 30 minutes of AFKing here, we got that. Yeek. Okay, that's bad. That's bad. Okay. Okay. That's taken care of. Okay. Okay. That's okay. Yeah. But wait, how did this guy even get here? Oh, he followed me. Right. I need to improve this place a bit. All right, but as I was saying, before I was rudely interrupted, after AFKing for like 30 minutes, we got this, and this is an amazing ton of food that I'm actually going to bring with us home, just so we have it at home. I will definitely need to AFK here some more to fill up a whole barrel with this stuff. But as I said, today we will be making yet another farm, and that farm will be a gold farm. Now, it's not going to be super super it's not, it's not going to be super efficient but it is going to be pretty much what we can do because to make an efficient gold farm you pretty much need turtle eggs and we don't really have turtle eggs down here but we still have another method of getting gold so we will be making that today now before we continue much further a quick word from our sponsor humble servers and that is if you want a micro server do you want a micro server for you and your friends but can't really afford the normal prices that other hosters. Well, Humble Servers got you covered with servers starting all the way at $0.75 in their budget lineup. So go ahead and get your own now down below in the description using the link down below, which supports me and the channel. And remember to use promo code BINARYV at checkout to save 25% off of your first purchase. That's a deal. I would take it. But anyways, with all that all done and said, uh, I need to now pick a few blocks here for the construction. I want warped slabs right here. I then want, I don't know, I really do not have a whole lot of quartz, but I'm gonna take this and hope that I can get some more. And then I am also going to, we should probably get enough for a respawn anchor over there just in case because it is going to be a little bit dangerous so i'm gonna bring all my glowstone base oh dear i'm gonna bring all my glowstone basically and i want i think all of this blackstone we can always get more but i think i want all of this i am also going to bring these crimson trapdoors that is going to be perfect all right i grabbed a few things crimson fence crimson sign i think this should be able to do it i'm also going to grab you know what, we'll grab some more uh, warped planks here on the way out. I really need a better axe than this. Another, a diamond, not another right, a diamond axe, well, another right slash diamond axe would definitely be tempting in the very near future because wood chopping is something that I need to do a lot of and having a good and quick axe for that is going to be very, very tempting. I still absolutely, I don't hate, but I really, really wish Mojang had made it so these trees would actually decompose and drop their saplings like normal trees. Because for me it just does not make any sense that the canopy would still, even though it's like mushroom-ish, would still float around. It, it's just annoying. And it being a tree, it, yeah, I just feel like it really should decompose itself. But eh, it is what it is. All right, I now have 21 extra warped stems right there. That should hopefully be enough. I'm also going to get some of these just because they're nice to have. Twisting vines, you never know when you're gonna need some. And they're growing basically right in our front yard. Now, the place we need to go to is around uh, X300 and Z minus 300, I believe. And it's actually going to go past 
the farm that we made in the last episode. So let's get going. That's a lot of piglins in one area. They must have a meeting about what to do with the Hoglin infestation. All right, here we are. We actually need to cross this bridge right here, which is not dangerous at all. No, no, this is completely safe. What are you talking about? <laughs> okay, I'm good. Aha, we did find more quartz. Perfect, and we have our fortune too. Oh dear, they shouldn't be able to follow me. Oh wait, they can so follow me. Okay, we're good. But yeah, with our new fortune, well, not new, but our upgraded Fortune Pickaxe. I'm now able to get these quartz with Fortune 2 as well. I'm gonna grab even more as we get to where we need to be. This is very satisfying now. Ah, how did you get up here? Ah, no, 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 no. Ah, no, no. Wait, I don't have a shield. Okay, that's an issue. Well, that didn't go too well. That did not go too well at all. Um, I'll be right back. Uh, maybe bring a shield this time. Just, yeah. Alright, give me my stuff. Okay, there it is. Everything should still be here and in just top, tip top shape. Uh, yeah. That seems like it is as it should be. I did have a shield. I need to find a way where I can easily find it when I need it. Okay. Uh, alright. Let's keep moving. In fact, we are here right now. I'm gonna put that there so I don't miss it this time. We are here. So basically what we will be doing is we're going to make a tiny bit of a pigman farm. And yes, I still call these pigmen because they are easier to pronounce than zombified piglins. I like pigmen better. All right, so this bastion we've already looted, but if you look at F3 here, and if you look up here at Nether Wastes, that is the biome where the pigmen spawn in the most, aka zombified piglins. And basically the zombified piglins spawn in this biome. Now, what we will be doing is we will be setting up a little bit of a camp, hut, house thing. And we will be making a little bit of a way to anchor the pigmen. We are safe, they come for us. And what is happening, if I anchor one of them, they communicate with each other. And the cool thing is, all of them don't need to see where I am. As long as one is able to see me, then it tells the other pigmen where I am and they just go for me, which is really cool. So there could be a pigman up here. I mean, it's up this mountain and there's a pigman up here who gets angry, or not that gets angry, but that gets the message, hey, this, this player is bad. Then they come running all the way over here, even though they don't technically know where I am. They communicate th through each other. So that is what we will be making. Now I'm just thinking where exactly to put it. I thought of placing it on this side, but I'm thinking maybe it's better to put it here, having them run up potentially. So we could maybe get some that are over here. I'm not sure. Let me have a look around and see what would be best. Now I am going to use another little bit of a strategy and that is going to be to lower my render distance, which basically forces, quote unquote, zombie piglin to spawn in the area instead of further away. Uh, I think it's going to have an effect anyway, but we will see. I guess we can try both methods. Yeah, I think maybe a hut there or there. All right, looking at F3 plus G here, we can see that if I place myself in this chunk, if I put my rent resistance to at four, I'm going to load this one, that one, and this one right there to that red line, which is pretty good because we don't really need to go any further than that. So I think placing it up there is going to be pretty good also considering the amount of land we will be covering in that direction. Though thinking about it, maybe it's better to place it over there somewhere because there's quite a bit of another waste in that direction as well. And placing it over there in that cliff would only cover it to that red line. But if you come up here and take a look, it actually expands all the way out to the edge over there. So it would almost be stupid not to take this in the radius as well. All right, I have done a little bit of, I guess, calculations. Uh, this right here would be the edge if we were to place the hut at that spot right there. I think by placing it up there, we will get the most 
um, we will basically hit as many pigmen as we possibly can in our radius. Now I know that there is also a uh, red forest here, but we would cover all of this nether waste basically all the way to the edge and also beyond in that direction and in that direction. So I think we would be good doing it here. By placing it up there, as I mentioned, we would actually reach all the way to this chunk right here. So I think it is definitely going to be worth it placing it up there. So that is what we will be doing. In the end, it's not going to be a huge building, so we can always move it. So let's get to building this thing. All right, so we are going to be placing it right here in this place right Uh, Yeah, I think we're gonna place it right here. So that means I want to first off level this ground a little bit and I'm going to do that the cool way with a time lapse. Let's go. All right, so this place has been, no idea what happened there, um, but this place has been cleared and we can actually start building now. So that is cool. Uh, okay, my inventory is already a mess. We shall just ignore that. Let me just make some quartz here real quick. Now, I don't know what kind of, I guess, design I'm going for. I guess I'm kind of going for a kind of design I used back in base. Delta back in season one, I suppose. But anyways, what we want is a little, it does not have to be big. I'm gonna make it five by five. So that is going to be our entrance right here. And then this would be a corner and this would be a corner, I guess. Yeah, because we want a five by five inside. Then I'm gonna do that and that. And I'm gonna just make it so there is an entrance on the sides as well. Like so. Uh, yeah, yeah, that'll work. And then we're gonna have an entrance down here, which then leads down to our killing chambers. All right, I like that, I like that, I like that. Now, yes, quartz pillar, why not? I'm gonna try and kinda freestyle this, I guess you can call it. Uh, quartz and then another layer of blackstone, I guess. Yeah, I'm gonna try and freestyle it here. Uh, as best as I can, though I don't know how that is going to go. We're gonna find out. All right, I think I like it so far, and then maybe do something like that across. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, I think this could work. Yeah, I think something like this could work, and then place some right there to cover for the doors, like so. And I guess we could then potentially use. Yeah, we're gonna then use warped wood to make some windows here, some warped fences, place those there. I feel like these colors really fit well with each other. Place them like so. And maybe we can have a bigger window back here. Place that. Uh, uh, get te, te, eh. Yeah, and then have a bigger window there just for the looks of it maybe? Or I could just put smooth and have it like a pattern. I think I'm gonna go with that actually, just for fun. Now, we would need doors in here of course, and now we're kinda already getting to the trapping part. So that and put there like so. So door open, door go open, door goes weirdly open. That's better, door go open, okay. Uh, we want a floor as well and for that I think we will definitely need quart because we have a lot of black walls here So we need some more white uh, To mix in with it. So let's go do that now for flooring I'm going to use quartz like I said, but I'm going to use slabs I have a five, That's 25 Like so I'm going to use slabs because it's just going to save a lot more resources not that I can't get quartz, but it just, yeah, it's easier. Also gonna have to break those again, just to place the quartz. 
And yeah, I think this is actually not gonna look too bad once we're done here. Oh, get, get, stop that. Place the doors back in like so. Why is this one? Why does this one keep doing weird? Does it matter where you look? Oh, it does matter where you look. I. So if I look slightly to the right of the block, it's placing it there. But if I look slightly to the left. Nope, I did it again. If it looks like it's to the left, I didn't know that. I guess I learned, yeah, I guess we learn something new every day. <laughs> now for the roof. Okay, I don't know what to do for the roof. I could make it just a square, but I feel like that's kind of boring. But on the other hand, uh, actually, I think I just got an idea. I just hope that I have enough wood in order to do this gonna oh that that is gonna make a quick staircase up here like so we're gonna raise these up by one and then have stairs like so go across i don't think that's gonna be too bad could you please get off the construction this is a construction zone please thank you very much okay i think this could work and then continue it at least one more layer up and that piglets can use doors huh okay i probably knew that but had forgotten that would you stop that you annoying block and final block right there now i only have 13 more warp warped planks so i don't want to use that many more uh, for the roof here but i don't think we actually need to if we just i wonder how is that's gonna make quartz bricks. Uh, how would this look? I don't think that looks too bad. Hopefully. Does that look too bad? I don't think it does once we get the next layer of wood on. Because what I'm then gonna do is I'm gonna place these warped slabs here. Like so. I think this is going to do the trick. And these I have, okay, I don't have plenty, but I have hopefully enough. Final block, like so. Move the ugly looking staircases, like so. Okay, Um, I feel something is a bit off, but okay. okay I feel like something is off, I feel like this that's too little black, almost. I feel like that's almost too little black, but that... Oh! Does that look dumb? Should these be pillars? I don't know. Should they be pillars? They could be pillars. Huh. With pillar? And over here? Without pillar. Maybe we shouldn't have the pillars to begin with. How would that look? Remove the pillar here. Place in the normal ones. I honestly think this might look better. Either the pillar has to go and this needs to put in, or this needs to be something else. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. I think I'm going to convert this to that at least in the front uh, something just feels off maybe that's better <laughs> uh, i don't know all right after a little bit of struggling this is the result and i think it's okay i like it let me know what you guys think down below in the comments i did though however have to call of as the assistance of my friend atalantis for this um <laughs> but i like this I think this will do just fine. Now we need to move on to the actual farm bit and I just realized now I don't have enough wood to make uh, the actual farm bit but we may have to make that out of just uh, red wood. But anyways, let us continue, shall we? Oh dear, uh, this, is gonna be, this is gonna be interesting. We may just do the front for now and then block off the doors here. Um, but we'll see, we'll see. 
first off, what we want to do is... Do I have enough for? I don't even have enough. Hmm. Alright. First off, we're gonna make a little bit of a frame here, just to make it that much better to look at. Then, we're gonna place a trapdoor there, and here, and then on the side like this, I believe. Alright, you may now go down there. Keep going, there you go. All right, and like so. Now, how this works is we'll anger a pigman, we'll run in, and then we'll basically close that. And this will make them think that they can get to us, but they actually can't, and they'll fall into this hole right here. We will then be standing over here, uh, down in our killing chamber, and I need some ladders for this some ladders like so and we should have zombie pigman like right here perfect so I can actually go ahead and dig out this little I guess uh, basement all right I have dug out the basement now I will make the floors and the walls and such look a lot nicer now in here is where we would basically be killing the zombie pigman now um, he's a little bit annoying okay sure you come out here that'll be fine now how can I make this I need to make it so that baby zombie pigmen cannot get in here but I can still hit them easily I think the solution is going to be slabs here and then slabs here I'll be able to hit them here and also down here and it should be good now I just need a way of actually getting in there. So I have an idea. This is probably not going to work. It was just an idea that I got. Place this here and then this there. Would basically allow me to go in. But things not allowed to get out. I didn't, I wouldn't actually need this right here. Now that I think about it. And now that I think about it even more, I can leave that there and things will still not be able to come out. And I can just do that and come in and get the goodies. So that will work just fine. Now I just need to make this place a little bit more likable. Alright, we are done, I think, with this thing. For now, anyway. I do want to do some more decoration maybe around this bit. Of course, also add the other doors. Right now I just slap them off. Like so. And, but yeah, I think... I think this is good enough to call done for now. Uh, speaking of now, I need a chest. But first, I want to make a quick respawn anchor just in case I die. Then I respawn back here. Now let me show you the, um, the killing area. Oh, the light goes down here. Cool. Nice. That's good. Um, but anyways, yeah, this is our killing. I could have placed it in the wall. Hmm. Oh, well. Um... But yeah, this is our killing area. I like the basement of this. I think I like it. Oh, those... Hmm. That, that's probably going to bug some people. Let me fix that. Alright. There we go. There you go. Is is that better? Yeah, I'm, I'm sure a lot of people are relieved that I did that. Alright. So, this is our killing chamber right here. And yeah, now I just want to get some more wood. Make a chest. Oh, make a chest. Clear up my inventory and we can try this farm in action now during building this i did hear a lot of pigmen like falling taking damage so maybe we want to make a little bit of a staircase going over here and leading up so that they have a safe place of following to basically get to us yes i'm making a path so that things can come and try and kill me because that's what we do all right perfect that's actually a lot of spot uh, space back here where things can spawn and uh, try and kill us all right that staircase is done of course I can again pretty that up a little bit more later and things should be able to climb all the way up from over there up to there follow here and then over to here all right it's about to test yep it's test time what was that it's about to test it's test time that okay all right testing time 
So I'm going to fold those out and I'm gonna shoot you and do that. And let's see how well this out. Okay, gotta be a little bit careful because they can get close. I am going to close the door. Wait, actually, I don't think I can close the door. Because I think they might not come for me then. But as you can see, they are now going all the way around and jumping into the hole. And as you can see, they're coming from all different... Whoa, this guy actually came in. Okay, that's a flaw in our design. <laughs> that's a flaw in our design. Uh, we need to take a look at that real quick. I think... I don't even know if I can actually fix that. Um, that's an issue. But more are coming, I think, around. Yeah, see, this guy actually somehow is able to get around this bed right here. I think we may need to drop this guy one more down. But even more are still coming towards us. This is pretty epic. I'm gonna close the door now. And they are actually still coming towards me. So I'm gonna go down. Yeah, see, they're even coming from over there. This, this is perfect. I'm actually going to put this here as a safety net. <laughs> but here they are. And I'm going to lower this because I can imagine this being very loud. And we're just gonna start smacking them. And I think just by them still being able to see me right here, I think this, they will still be able to get into the hole here and navigate. Now I'm not using my good sword for this. That would be a waste. But yeah, now we can just stand here and kill. And what we can actually do is we can leave... Where did you come from? We can leave some alive, still angry at me, and hope that more will drop in. And, well, keep going. Zombie, could you please... How... Where are these zombies coming from? These... There are supposed to be zombies down here. Alright, I still hear more, so here are even more. And I, I, by the way, I have not changed my render distance at all, so this might be the best way. I can imagine killing some here will spawn more down here. And yeah, I can imagine a chain reaction happening like that. Oh dear, my uh, my sword broke. Where's my, where's me, uh, where's me crafting table? <laughs> Get another stone sword, close that for safety purposes. And keep slapping away. And this can also f work as a little bit of an XP farm. Now, I know we're not getting a whole lot of XP nor gold using this method, but it is still something. Okay, we're, we're getting we're getting some. We're getting something. We're getting something. What did we get? We got some gold swords and some gold nuggets. So that was, what was that? 13 nuggets in total once we smelt down these swords and 11 rotten flesh. Now, of course, that is not a whole lot, but... I wonder if there's still some... Oh, whoops. <laughs> uh, we still got some over there. But yeah, it was not a whole lot, but it is still something. And if I use some time here, I believe that I will be able to get uh, quite a bit of gold. And especially experience. I can, level, I can repair my tools and such. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Oh, you're still angry at me, aren't you? Hmm. That's a problem. Now, will I be able to maybe just go ahead and smack him? And then he calls more guys over. Let's see. Yep, more came. More definitely came. I think they may have come from the other side there. So I need to keep in mind that it takes a while for them to come all the way from the different directions. But this is working very nicely, actually. This is working pretty well. All right, so that is our gold farm or mini gold farm. Kind of, I guess, completed. Um, I'm going to stay here for now and use this a little bit more. Don't know for how long, but for a little bit. And we're going to see how much gold I'll get in. I don't know how much, but uh, I'm going to stay here for a little bit until the next episode. So, I hope you enjoyed this one. If you have any suggestions to this place and to improvements, let me know down in the comments below. But anyways, I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like. It helps me out a ton more than you know. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing if you like what you see here. And yeah, that's going to be it for me. Hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day and goodbye.
Yeah.